you can see gradually like I've been down here, I lived down here all my life. I'm 68 years old. When a hurricane used to come down here, we're gonna say, let's say Hurricane Betsy in 1964. When the waters would come in, we'd say Cocodry, which is 18 miles from here, we'd say, and the poor people from Cocodry, man, they flooded, you know? Mm -hmm. And then 10, 12 years later, with another little town down, they got down further south here, it's called Robinson Canal. And we say, man, man, the poor people, man, in Robinson Canal, now they flooded, you know? And then a few years later, we got 10 miles down the road, and the water's flooding down, you know? We say, man, the poor people from the Rural Canal. And then in 1985, when Hurricane Juan came here, it flooded this whole community. And that's when this whole thing of people leaving Terrebonne Parish and prices in church and all going up. Young people really can't afford to get no home right now down here because the house note is just as much as the insurance note. And these young people, I mean, you they're not rich when they're young, so it just it's just they, they can't afford to build down here. So in that way, we're going to lose our, our community in years to come where the young people are not coming back down here. And once they go, they're not coming back, you know, so. As long as you got storms coming in, it's costing these people so much money just for insurance. And like I said, $17,000, you got to pay your roof. I mean, that's a $27,000 hit right here. People are just not going to keep taking that every year, every year. They're going to, even though they love the community and the Bayou country, say the Cajun heritage so much, I mean, finances has to come into play and you got to go somewhere else. But what I'm listening to, all these people that's moving, they're not staying in the state of Louisiana. They're moving out of the state. So not only will these buyers lose money, but the whole state will because people won't be here to pay taxes.